And the formula that we want to use is this one right over here. It's n minus 2 times 180 equals the sum of the interior angles. So all the inner angles added up, okay, that's going to be that total there. So here you can see we've got five angles, or five sides, either one. 5 minus 2 times 180 equals what? Well, that's 3 times 180, which equals 540. All these angles have to add up to 540. So let's make an equation, 91 plus 120 plus x plus 80 plus 93 has to add up to that 540. So all we need to do now is solve for x, and we've got it. So let's go to the calculator. Uh, 91 plus 120 plus 80 plus 93, that comes out to 384. So we have x plus 384 equals 540. Just subtract the 384 from both sides, right? And we've got it. So 540 minus looks like 156 degrees. So that's the measure of that missing interior angle, this one right here. Okay, so the example number two says find the interior angle in a regular 14 gon. So what does it mean when they say regular? It means all the angles are the same, okay? And all the sides are the same length as well. But if it's a 14 gon, that means it has 14 sides or 14 angles. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do this a couple different ways. We're gonna do n minus two times 180, okay? In this case, it's 14, so I'm gonna put 14 right there. So we've got 12, 14 minus two is 12, times 180. That's gonna give us the sum of all the interior angles. So if we do that, we'll go to the calculator here. 12 times 180, that gives us 2,160. But we just wanna find the measure of one angle, so we're gonna divide by 14, since there's 14 of them, right? Okay, so that was pretty easy. It's about 154.3 degrees. The other way to do this problem is you can use the formula 360 divided by n, or divided by 14. This will give you the measure of the exterior angle, okay? Because all the exterior angles always add up to 360 in a uh, polygon like this. So basically the exterior angle is coming out to 25.7. And one thing you'll notice about these two angles is that they're supplementary. They add up to 180 degrees. So I don't actually know how to draw a 14 gon, okay? But let's just pretend like it looks something like this, okay? If you extend one of those sides, that's your exterior angle right there, 25.7. But your interior angle, see 154.3, these are gonna form a straight line. They're gonna be supplementary, they're a linear pair. So you can either use the formula 360 divided by n to get the exterior angle, or you can use this formula n minus two times 180 equals the sum of the interior angles, but then you're gonna have to divide it by how many angles that you have to find the measure of just one of the angles. So I hope this helped you to understand how to work with you know, finding that missing interior angle better. Subscribe to the channel. Check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring. And I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.